this video is just a little bit of fun for me playing around with this Pico scope. It's a 2204A and I'm going to take a series of measurements to see if I can determine what the resonant frequency is of this tune circuit. There's the inductor, the coil, there's the capacitor there. It's just a fixed value capacitor. At the time when I was using it as crystal radio, I had a variable capacitor, but that's all works. So I just soldered on a small ceramic capacitor just for this test. It would be quite nice if we can use the picoscope to see if we can measure or determine what the resonant frequency is. So the resonant frequency is going to be 1 over 2 pi root LC. And so now we've got 1 over 2 pi root L is, and it's only 3 times 10 to the minus 6 times 1 times 10 to the minus 9. In other words, 382 kilohertz. As you can see, I've opened up PicoScope. I've got an old function generator where I just twist the knob to change the frequency. As I'm increasing the frequency, I'm reducing the amplitude. And when I re get to that, must be about the resonant frequency there because that's when the amplitude is greatest. And then if I go below the resonant frequency, it becomes attenuated. Now, what I would suggest we do is we click this thing here. Channel A, that's what I'm connected to. Oh, by the way, let's just quickly check. Yeah, the probe is set times 10. I set the uh, vertical scale to a fixed value because I don't want it to auto range. Let's go to measurements. Channel A, I want to measure ACRMS because I want to measure voltage. And so I've got that down here. OK, so I've got an average. It's the average one that I'm going to be interested in. Well, I want the frequency, so measurements, channel A, frequency, there we go. And what have we got at the moment? So 200, nearly 250, isn't it? So let's let's change that down to 200. That's plot of voltage, and then go to 250, 300, etc. So let's try that. maximize this Let's see if we can graph it so uh, where do we go inserts charts where would you say the resonant frequency is where it looks like it's something about 300 ish doesn't it if we took another plot there maybe that would be useful <laughs> Roughly there, okay, so about 325 kilohertz. That's not quite what I calculated, but I regard that as a reasonable success. I mean, after all, uh, I don't know that the inductor was measured accurately and the capacitor as well. There's going to be a tolerance on the capacitor. Hooking up the probes as well, that's added some more capacitance. So, yeah, I think as an exercise, just showing that the PicoScope software works. And you can take some readings, I'm more than happy with that. I hope that's of interest to some people. And if you managed to get this far in the video, I'd be really grateful if you could give it a thumbs up or even add a comment. If you don't like the video, add a comment and tell me why. Okay, thanks.